Let's talk for a minute about the classic Wagabond aircraft, built by Bob Woods. So today we're talking with uh, Scott and Bob Woods again with uh, the Wagabond uh, classic aircraft. And guys, this is not a plane I'm very, very familiar with at all. I think it's a beautiful design plane. It's a tail dragger, very, you know, very classic style. But tell me a little bit about the, first the construction of it and maybe why you, you chose to build it. Uh, I chose to build it. I've, I've owned two or three, uh, three uh, Vagabonds and, and I uh, always wanted a Vagabond with a bigger engine in it. So when I got to looking at the Wagabond, I thought, uh, you know, that would, that's where you can build it and build it the way you want to. So I wanted no 200 in it. I didn't want a light combing in it because it just get too heavy. And uh, I wanted to put an 0200 in it. So that's what we built it around was an 0200. And was this a plans built or a kit or a mixture of both or how did you Go it's about. a mixture of it's a mixture of parts. Uh, it's got modified Colt wings on it. Um, it you know, it's got uh, highly modified tripacer tails on it. I mean, uh, uh, balance tails. Balance, but you know, and and, and uh, it it, it uh, we built all the we built the fuse lodge and the gear and and. and and stuff like that. But, uh, so you, so you didn't get the fuselage as a kit pre-welded. You actually cut the steel well, and weld it yourself. Well, no, actually the fuselage we bought um, as a project. To, we got the project out of Louisiana, Alabama, Alabama or Louisiana. Yeah. Okay. okay. Project out we, of Alabama. We, we bought two of them. It was, the guy had two of them for sale projects, and so we bought two of them. I sold the other one and, and kept this one, this fuselage, and finished it. Okay, and, and what is it? This is, um, again, a, a tubular steel frame for the right. fuselage and a wood wing. Right. right. Well, uh, if you build it by the plans, you can build it either way, wood wing or metal wing. Okay. Okay. They, they, they both build wood. But this is, this is a Colt wing. This is metal wing. It's all metal structure. Okay. And the fabric covering, what method and product did you use for fabric covering? Tell me what that experience was like in fabric covering. Well, this, uh, this is all AirTech process, which is all that we use for the airplanes that we rebuild uh, now is, is AirTech. Uh, we use AirTech and polyfiber, but we're pretty much uh, going to just using the AirTech. Okay. Uh, I like the finish on it a lot better, and it, there's a lot, lot less labor in it. It's not as labor intensive as, as uh, other other products, especially on the paint side. Uh, yeah, is the Wagabond pretty much built around the Continental O200 or just that horsepower rating? Uh, the 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 Wagabond, I think uh, it, I think you use a 65 on the class. You use a 65 to O200, and then the Traveler uses uh, what 235 and on up. I think they you know there's been some higher horsepower ones. There's some out there that's got O320 on it. Yeah, but that's. Longer nose and heavier weight. Yeah. Okay. And and how did you obtain the engine, or, and how does somebody acquire a used O200 for a decent price these days? What we did, we bought a a, a derelict 150. Uh, that the guy said that he had, the engine was just overhauled or not uh, topped. It was just topped, had brand new cylinders, and and uh, so we bought the airplane and we took some instruments out of it. We we. Got what we wanted out of the airplane and the engine and the prop, and and then we sold the uh, we sold the, the remains of the airplane, and and when I actually got the you know got it running and got it flying, I sat down with the logbooks you know for a while and found out that they were uh, it was uh, fiction, and and uh, I ran across an engine that was freshly majored, but the man that it majored it died. And didn't do the logbooks, so I, I bought that engine, got it, you know, that's the engine that's on it now, and we went through it, and and uh, it's it's a good engine, and so it's it's got a it's got 15 hours on the engine now, I think around 15 hours. Okay, so this one kind of came to you more or less as a quick build, being the fuselage was already together, and you got uh, the wings of something else. Yeah. That being said, when you were assembling it, what was maybe one of the more challenging points of final assembly and getting it to the point of flying. The landing gear was interesting. Um, um, 
made the wingtips too. Uh, yeah, and we made the, made the wingtips for it. Um, the landing gear, uh, as the spring, I don't know what you call it, the compression spring, and, and the first uh, first ones that we got weren't strong enough, and it, it you know I didn't like the gear at all. And since we we done some things on that compression spring, and it it's a lot better. But we had had some issues there. But that was that was a wanted to spread out farther than yeah yeah a little too loose yeah, yeah. well it just it would spread out farther yeah, than yeah, what we it, wanted it, you know when you tack it around <clears throat> the gear would spread a little bit. And what are the controls like I, this one doesn't have flaps either of this design i guess it and is it is it push pull tube and all wire cable. or all cable all cable all cable okay cable and pulley um tell me a little bit what is it like to fly if you're finding value in this video hit the like button on this video and it's really important that you subscribe as it helps me get sponsors like airworks kit plane parts acme aero edge performance engines and Viking aircraft engines. And be sure to check out the links in the description below for special offers from our affiliates. Let's jump back in. Uh, it's, it's very easy to fly. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's very responsive. Very, very responsive, yeah. Because uh, the, the, the Vagabond, or the Vagabond, didn't come with the uh, balanced tails. You know, they, they didn't make them that way. I put those on there because I like them. Uh, the trim, you think about the trim, you don't really use it. <laughs> you reach down there and you just move it an eighth of an inch and that's plenty. <laughs> well, back up a second, talk about the balanced uh, tail. So what is the big difference from the, the plans built, if you will, versus using the Piper? Is it just heavier on the controls and this is lighter on the controls or what's the difference? Uh, it's a lot lighter on the controls, a lot lighter on the elevator. You know, okay. That, that, the balanced, uh, you know really really helps that a lot yeah, the balance tails make a big difference in, um, in your control as far as far as the other, other flying it it flies good it's got a it stalls about 42 between 40 um, and 42 yeah it's got vortex generators on it uh which i put on it when i build it and so i don't know how it flies without them but uh, you, you know uh i wanted them on there so we we, we put those on when we built the wings and and so I really can't tell you what they do, but it, it, they're, they're there. there. <laughs> I can't tell you the difference between with them because yeah, yeah. they've been there the whole time. Yeah. So uh, again, talking about like, what do you uh, when you what do you rotate at? What do you climb at speeds? What do you cruise at? Uh, tell me the speeds of this thing. Uh, well, it's not fast. It it you rotate about. 45, 50. 40, yeah, 45 to 50 rotate. Yeah. Climb, um, climbs really good. Climbs real good. Um, I, you know, I don't really, I don't really hang it on the prop to see what it'll do. Uh, I usually 60, 65 climb, and it goes, goes on up, no problem at all. Even with two people in it, it climbs good. Uh, it doesn't cruise as much as I thought it was. It, it, it stays between 95 and 100. In fact, the pusher outruns it. <laughs> so interesting. <laughs> uh, the first time that we went flying together. He took the pusher and I said, well, I'll catch up with you. And, and that didn't happen. I never saw him again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, so it, it's not as fast as I thought it would be. Uh, I'm going to work on that a little bit and try to make some fairings for it and stuff. And, and I'm playing with the prop. I got another prop I want to try on it and see if that'll help it. It's got a 69 inch prop. And I think if I can get a little longer prop, that might help the speed. It's, you know, it's not like it. It runs off and leaves it, but I can't catch him. <laughs> the plans are really good, I think. Um, didn't have any trouble at all. Um, but uh, I'm fairly familiar with the with the wag or the vagabond too. I've got a complete set of factory drawings for the vagabond, and it's it's pretty much uh, it's it's a direct knockoff of the of the vagabond, really. Okay. So, but uh, the plans are good. The plans are real good on it. Would you do it again if you had more time? I'd love to build another one. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. I'd love to build another one and put a spring steel gear on it. And uh, I think I'd make it a little bit bigger on the inside because I'm a big guy. If we, you know, we get in there, it's, it's you got to be, you're friendly. We're, you know? we're full if we get in there. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I'd like to make it a little bit bigger, uh, you know. Wider, wider. There's plenty uh, of leg room in it. Maybe put some bubble doors on it or something. To, yeah, yeah. Some more elbow room. Well, I'd like to have one that have the the doors that go up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know, up against the bottom of the wing. Uh, <coughs> uh, 
but other than that, uh, it flies great. It, it, it's good handling. Um, it, you know, it doesn't have any bad characteristics. No. It, in fact, we've had other friends of ours that have, they've flown champs and tea crafts and stuff, and then one guy came back in, and he's like, I, I can't believe it flies this good. You know, yeah. He says, I'm really impressed with how it flies. And he's not the only one that said that, but I mean, it just his reaction that day when he come back and landed was was good, really good. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, guys, thanks for uh, giving us a tour through your your wagabond here. Um, I try to capture this best I can on camera, but uh, I'm just going to say it, it. It's really I don't know if the camera's going to pick up everything. It's it's a really clean looking build. The paint looks amazing. The fabric looks amazing. It's honestly one of the best looking wagabonds that I've seen. Thank, thank you. Appreciate it. To learn more about the Wagabond, check out wagarrow.com. Remember to like and subscribe. Check out our new podcast available on Podbean, iTunes, and Google Play. I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.